That's the fucking guy right there. Yeah, dude. I like him too. I don't know who to be. Who should I be? Be the boy. Be the guy. Be the good yeah. one. And then Megas XLR. Nice. So for this being a PlayStation 2 game, when did this come out? Can you pull that up, Jamie? <laughs> I'm going to guess 2000, 2002 or 2003. Dude, you're right on the money. 2003. There we go. Oh, shit, bitch! Yeah, for, for it coming out in 2003, PlayStation 2 game, these graphics are not bad. Pretty fucking fun. I don't remember how to lock on. Uh, is it... Wait, yeah, there, there is a way you can lock on. Is it L2? Oh yeah, you gotta hold both L2 and R2. Uh, or I think it's L2 or R. I remember. Yeah, yeah, you got. What is that? Both of them. Both of the R1, L1. Do you have your Alt too? Alt. Oh, my ultimate is ready. Oh, and you can pick up those things. Here we go. Blow his ass up. Money oh, shot. Oh, and you fire. walk right to the fire. Impale his stupid ass. This is gonna be the quickest win. Look at Fucking that. I ain't worried about shit. Quick win. This movie was movie. This game was so interesting because, like that right there is exactly yeah. what I'm gonna say. Like the posters, it looks like it would be an old school movie that you could watch, like a B movie or something. You go online and look up all the intros. See ya, fucking scumbag. Come get this ass whooping. I'm trying to block. Oh, see ya. Hit, hit him with that Mortal Kombat. Oh, oh. <laughs> Yeah. Fucked him up. There we go. Oh, here comes the robot. Yeah. Oh, yeah, because I, I remember playing this, and I always got fucked up on this part because the fucking helicopters sh nonstop shoot you. Just ult on them. Get right in the center of them and ult. I keep saying ult. No, no. I'm the better robot. I was made in Japan. <laughs> You're American trash. Ah. Damn, fucking... Oh, easy. Oh, shit. All right, so I got a new job. Deliver tires and shit. There's this uh, one place I won't say the name of. The owner of the place, I'll just call him Kevin. So Kevin ordered a bunch of tires, and apparently he's been having trouble with our company not getting the tires that he's supposed to. Like, they just don't come in. And so I just told him, you know, like, hey, man, uh, I'm just letting you know there was, like, some tires that weren't on the, uh, that weren't on the truck. Is it because of the whole like COVID thing with like factories not that, being fully staffed, can't yeah, make that, them? that plus just some other bullshit, uh, just a bunch of different things, you know, we just didn't have them in stock. So I, I let him know, hey, we don't have your tires in stock, blah, 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 they're not on the truck. And then he tells me, he starts off by saying, man, I really need those tires. Like he's not mad, mm -hmm. you know, he's just he's like, just man, we had- Disappointed, yeah. Yeah, we had a, uh, we had a customer that's supposed to be here at 7.30, Keep in mind, it's currently seven o'clock whenever I'm telling them this. Mm -hmm. And so I tell him politely, obviously, you know, I'm mm -hmm. sorry, man, I can't, you know, I can't really do anything yeah. about it. And so he was like, uh, man, I really need those tires. I'm like, I'm sorry, dude. So he's signing the paperwork. He tells his assistant, his assistant walks in and they're like, hey, so-and-so called that made the appointment. They wanted to know if they could come in early. They can't come in at all. Why? We don't have the tires. Mm -hmm. uh, Mid-air, let's go. And uh, she's nice. like, we don't have the tires. She's like, we don't have the goddamn tires. And I'm just like, oh. <laughs> just sitting there like, what do I do? Yeah. yeah. And uh, so then he finishes signing for it. I go to walk out. Right before I get out the door, I'm sure he said something before this leading up to it. But all I heard was him go, tires! And then I just closed, I just walked out the door and left. I wonder if he's one of those guys that's like, he's actually upset about it. Knows you can't do anything, but he's just trying to like pull your leg and like be... Uh, I don't know, dude, but it was just so funny that like he just screamed right tires. Before, yeah, I'm sure. Like I said, I'm sure he was saying words before, before that, that. Yeah. But all I heard right before I walked out of the door was tires. Jesus. <laughs> but he was having a fucking meltdown over that, dude, and I was just like, oh, I felt so bad, dude. So I went to the why not stop, and this fucking lady wanted a goddamn fish basket. But whenever I walked in, I just grabbed a monster and a brownie. That's all I wanted. Mm -hmm. This lady's at the counter. Her back is faced towards the cashier. And she's not, like, looking at the cashier, talking to her. She has her back turned towards her. And she's grabbing some... She's just grabbing napkins. 
and I'm standing in front, like she's facing me, and I'm waiting on her to move mm -hmm. so I can put my shit down and pay for it and leave. And then she starts taking the napkins and just, dude, I'm talking digging <laughs> in her, like she's Touching. tickling the back of her own eyes. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm just like, this is so weird. So the cashier lady just makes this face like, okay. And she looks at me. She says, sir, are you ready to check out? I was like, yes, ma'am. So I start walking up. Dude, I get, I get from me to this laptop to the counter. Booger lady, still not looking at the cashier, goes, I need a fish basket. And so I went, <sighs> I backed up a couple <laughs> feet. And then she's like, is, uh, is that everything you need, ma'am? Oh, still not looking at her. Oh, I need, I need $10 on pump. Starts looking out the window. I do, I swear to God, 30 seconds go by. She's still, there's not that many pumps, dude. <laughs> you should know where you- Just where tell you, her what car you're yeah, in. Yeah, just tell her what car you're in or, you know, get the fuck out the way. So she finally says whatever pump it is. Still isn't turning around. The lady tells her her total. Dude, I, then she finally turns around and like, cause she has to check out, you know. Mm -hmm. I have my cash in my hand. I'm ready to check out. You Man. know what I'm saying? All I got to do is set it down. Here you go. Bye. Yeah. Booger lady's like, I need a fish basket. It's so strange that she didn't turn around. Like, no, man. You don't need she a fish basket. You need some she was... fucking manners. <laughs> Come on. Pick the fucking subway up. You imagine the people on the subway. What the fuck? <laughs> Please don't. Damn. Damn, Bobby. And people on the plane like, get, get me the fuck out. Oh my god, take off. Look, they're trying to get out of here. I'm sorry. Oh, bro, that's so fucked up. They were just about to get out, too. Oh, hell. Dude, I'm so gonna kill Come myself. Come on, Wes, dude, you got this. Come on. You got this so low, dude. Fuck. I don't think they can see how low your health is on there, but it's hella low. Fuck. Fuck him up, Pick, Wes. Come pick on, something fuck up! Jens! <laughs> oh, yeah, I think I gotta hit each of them twice, which... Like, okay, boss battle, but it's so, like, um... So we, repetitive. Yeah. I hate boss battles that are just, like, repetitive. You just gotta, like, wait for the... Yeah. Shit! Oh! <laughs> Jesus. What's, what's your least favorite boss battle in any game? Um... I don't know. Uh, like, and we just played Mario earlier, so, like, Bowser, you just running around behind his back and trying to toss him. Yeah. The, like, stuff... Stuff like that gets kind of old. Okay, well, let me ask this. Like, for example, Bloodborne. Mm -hmm. What's your, like, least favorite boss to fight in that game? Which one sucks? Which one is, like... Mikolosh. Yeah. Sucks. I, uh, whenever I get to Mikolosh, I hate chasing him around just to have him... Just to try and beat his ass and fight the skeletons and stuff. You yeah. just run around the whole place. He fucks you up in one hit. Yeah, and he can fuck you up in just one hit. That's my least favorite. Actually, but whenever I'm playing Bloodborne, it feels like the low point in the whole game is whenever I get to the forest. Like once I get to the, for the forbidden, forbidden forest. Yeah, once I get to the forbidden forest, like it feels kind of like a low point. Really? Yeah, I don't I really. I like that area. I don't really care for it that I think much. Because it's so spread out and shit. Yeah. yeah. I like being inside Yarnum and, and fighting and stuff. What is it, dude? Uh, oh. Fucking hell yeah. Oh, he's gonna try and grab that thing. Go get that thing. Yeah, if I can. Nice, dude. He just got cucked. Nice. That's a good cuck. <laughs> That's a good cuck. Oh, you better get out the way, Wes. Oh. Magma crushed. That's one, man. Damn, that was quick. Come here, you fucker. There you go. Beat his ass with the Titanic. There's a conspiracy that the Titanic never sank. What? Dude, you tell me about all these conspiracies lately? I just... <laughs> where are you hearing them from? I, I don't remember. TikTok, wasn't it? Uh, probably, honestly. Actually, yeah. I think it's probably one, one of those guys it. on TikTok that's pointing behind them. Yeah. Burger King? Fuck line ass. Burger King has employees that eat ass. Look here. Yeah. There's a picture of some dude just licking somebody's asshole. Jesus. Fuck it. Fuck it. <laughs> El Kabong. <laughs> yeah, stab him and fucking knock that building over. Dude, yes, right there, right there. That's the one. See you, Chief. Nice, dude. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, what are the monsters? Welcome to the sex lab. <laughs> 
Get him, boys. Fuck him, hurry, probe his ass. Pop that punching for a real one. Bust it down. He's gonna give you the most trouble, Wes. He's running. Oh, please, leave me alone. <laughs> we didn't mean to abduct you. We were never really gonna fuck you. We just wanted to see, if maybe you wanted to go eat at Olive Garden. Whoa, whoa. Really? Wow. Yes! Wow. Yes! <laughs> yes, drop it. Yes! Oh my god. Wow. Yeah, go grab that. This is a good game. No, dual shock battery level low. Oh. <laughs> oh, get get away from him. Look at that bullshit. Look at this horse oh, shit. No. What a bitch way That's to go the out. End. Just fuck this. See, it takes them too long to do. Uh, uh, all the animations are too slow, and I can't tell if that's like a a creator does like like if it's something the creators want to happen, or if it's just a flaw in the game. Yes, Marissa. What? I feel like I'm missing out on some context. Me too. I can beat her ass later. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, yeah, earlier we were talking about bad boss fights. <laughs> this isn't bad because it's just a challenge. It's bad because I can't can't move. I have to run. It's like guerrilla warfare. You just run a little bit, get away from them. Wow. Okay. And I could have stopped myself in there. I forgot how to do that though. No, I never. You know, I just need to do something cheap like this. Yeah. Like that's just so lame if that's how they want me to kill this boss. That's that's how you designed it. That's what I feel like I need to do. Can I hit him into that? There we go. Really? I Look get how it. how much health that takes off. Dude. Yeah. It's such bullshit. This game is so goddamn corny! <laughs> Fucking stupid ass game. You got what hit was. Give him the biscuits! There, Jesus. There it is. That was such a lame way to kill him. Look, that's how I want to do it. My brain trying to comprehend this boss fight. There's a cutscene here, huh? The yeah. birth of. Ultra V. Yeah, give him a cock. <laughs> what a game. What a fucking game. That was great, guys. <laughs> oh, God. Quality content. Uh, great entertainment. Great entertainment. Good boss fights. Yep. Executive producer Scott Campbell, he went on to do great things. Uh, this was the highlight of his career, though. <laughs>